In this video, I'm going to show you how you can produce a world map in R and also how you can plot some data onto that. It's actually quite a straightforward process. And most of the heavy lifting of this will come from the ggplot package. Now, if you do try and run this tutorial with just the ggplot package installed and activated, then if you haven't already got it, it will ask you to install a maps package as well. This is where a lot of the map data comes from. So just to avoid doing that, you can install ggplot2 and the maps package. We can pull the packages out of our library to activate them. Now, to do a world map, what we need is the coordinates for all the countries in the world. We can do this using the map data function and ask for the world. So this is going to give us the coordinates of the world, which I'm going to call world coordinates. So if we run that, you can see we've now got data. We've got the world coordinates, and it's a lot of data. We don't bother looking at that, but it's just going to give you um, longitude and latitude. So we'll be able to draw all the borders of all the countries. So we've got that, and that's the data that we need to draw a world map. So the first thing we're going to do is create a real simple map. We'll call it map number one. So map one. So we ask, it's going to be a GG plot, and we ask for the, um, the data is our world coordinates. We're going to map the world coordinates. So what we're actually going to be mapping out of the data is longitude and latitude, which is long and lat. And the, from the map ID is the region of the world. The colour for our lines is black. I'm going to fill in the map in a light green colour. You can change that to darker, you can change it to purple if you want it, any colour you like. And my line width, so the lines that make up the countries, is going to be 0.2. You can play around with these numbers, but I found that looks quite decent for a map. It's basically it. So anyone can produce this relatively easily. So if you run that, and then let's have a look at our map. See, here's our world map. So you see longitude and latitude. And you can see it's drawn us all the countries, all the borders of all the countries in the world here. And I've filled it in light green. As I say, we could adjust that to dark green, whatever you like. So that's a really simple way of plotting a world map. It's really straightforward to do, and that code will produce you it. We may say, well, the C doesn't really look like that. As you can see, it's got all these lines on it as well. And we've got longitude and latitude. We may want to get rid of that. So we may want to clean this up a bit. So what I'm going to do is create another map. and call this one map two. And I'm going to add a few bits to it. So what I'm going to do is my theme. And the panel background is going to be light blue. So it's going to fill in the background in a light blue color. The other thing it's going to do is for the major and minor lines on the grid, they're pretty hard to see because they're white. I'm going to do that in light blue as well. So basically, this means all the background is going to be filled in a light blue color. Do the thing as well with these. I'm just going to remove all the axis information as well. So I'm going to get rid of the axis titles, I'm going to get rid of the labels, I'm going to get rid of those um, little ticks on it as well. So if I run that, you can see how it gives me a nice clean map with the C colored in. And again, you can mess around the colors um, if you like, but you can see that's a bit more of a realistic world map. I've got rid of the longitude and latitude. It's not really necessary. So that's how we can produce a world map. It's straightforward. Now we can plot data on top of this. For example, I've found some data here. So you can find this in the link below the video. So I've got some data. And if we look at this. So this is um, data for all cities in the world, and I've just filtered it down because every um, city here has a population. Let's scroll all the way down. Here you can see I've basically got all the populations are over um, 1 million people. So we've got all these different cities. And what I've got is the location of these cities is LAT and LNG in this data set, LAT and longitude. The other thing is here I've got population, which I'll come on to in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to scale that population. Um, just so I'm dealing with smaller numbers here. So I've got the population scaled, and I'm just going to divide the population by a million. So basically, 
was just basically made release this so and Tokyo and Japan, the biggest city in the world. And I've scaled that down. So as opposed to being the raw number, it's in millions. So I'm going to plot this data over. So the first thing I'm going to do is the real simple way of plotting the data. I'm just going to mark on all the cities in my um, spreadsheet. So I'm going to create map three. Well, on map three is basically it's going to be map two, and I'm just going to add to it. What I'm going to add to my map two is some points, some little dots. The data for these dots comes from DF, which is what I call this data frame here. And the aesthetics, what I'm plotting is longitude and latitude. Remember in that data frame, it's called longitude was LNG, latitude was LAT. Color of those dots, I'm going to do them dark red. They show up quite nicely. The size of the dots I'm going to have is 0.5, and the alpha is 1. It's just how see-through you want the dots to be. If I run that, let's combine from 3. And now, there's all the countries. And within the countries, we can see where they've got these larger cities. So we've got a large amounts of them in China there. Um, quite a few in India as well, and then spread out around the world. And you can see populations over a million. There you go. So like, for example, London in the UK, you've got Madrid, Spain there, and so on and so on. So we can plot these now, of course, you know, these are really small dots. So we, you know, we can adjust these aesthetic sizes here and say, okay, maybe let's see what point nine looks like. So I've just adjusted so the dots get bigger now. Zoom in on that one so you can see that a bit clearer. And it's up to you, you know, to make your decision about how you want the size of these dots. They merge a little bit in China with all the very large cities there, but you can see things a little bit more clearly in different countries and so on. So you can play around with that, change of colours and so on. And what we could do instead is we could plot. These dots, instead of just saying it's a city, could actually do, we could plot the dots according to the size, and we can color code them according to the size of the city. So what I'm doing in this one is, see on point again, data is DF, the aesthetic is longitude, latitude, and then the color of it is based on my variable I made before called population scaled. So the color is going to be based upon how big the city is. Size of the dots, I'm going to say 1.2. Again, I can play around with this, change it to different things. Let's say it's 0.8. I'll first I'll see through it is, leave it as it is. And then my color gradient, this is how I'm going to do my color. So my scale color gradient, low scores are going to be dark blue all the way up to high scores in red. You need space equals lab, just leave that as it is. All of the options from space um, don't work anymore. We just use a space lab. And I'm just going to do the title for the key on the side of the graph will be population in millions. So if I run that, I've mapped it before. Let's zoom in on that so you can see a little bit better. Here is Population of millions, you can red, dark blue. And if we look here, we can see, for example, got some cities in red in Japan, China there, you can see Istanbul there, for example, is red. Now, the, the issue with this really is it's actually, you've got a few mega cities there, they're very high populations, and most of the cities are actually pretty low down the sense in most actually in blue we can if you want try and adjust the size to try and if you can see things a little bit more clearly so it's up to 1.2 for example and we can see the larger cities a bit more clearly now in red you can see the several in china here red purpley color so all the red cities and so on around so you can have a play around with this type of thing you can plot any data find you can get longitude and latitude so there's information on like okay, volcanoes that you could do, for example, and just huge amounts of data out there on survey data can be a huge range of different things, but there's just some examples of what you can do with larger scale maps.